it's Path of Gaming right here, right now, bringing you another TFT video. And today I'm coaching Hannibal. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, w what rank are you? Because this is is this. Well, last uh, right now, these are placement games. So, oh, okay. Uh, last season, I finished plat four on like two or three different accounts, and then I stopped playing. Platforms so, are bad. Like, Platforms yeah. are bad. Okay. That's, I think, when, when people start taking it a bit more seriously around Platinum. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, this season I'm not sure yet because it's just starting out. Okay, so what item do you like to start and why? Uh, usually, from what I've seen, it seems like either the sword or the bow are really strong now. And worst case scenario, you go for the glove. Uh, the rest are just... Well, I guess they're the most flexible and they're the most useful in terms of the powerful champions and compositions from what I've seen, but, um... So, like, think. bow is completely broken right now. Okay. Yeah. I think I think bow is super, super strong. Uh, followed by, I would argue that that rod or glove are... I don't know if sword is that strong, but it's like if it's personal preference. I think rod is, is decent because you can make some early game items. You can still make uh, rage blade. You can make locket. Uh, you can make uh, jeweled gauntlet. So rod is not that bad, and glove is flexible. Yeah, and armor is also decent, like chain for for sunfire cape. But yeah, I think bow is by far the best. So. Oh, um, do you know the video? I think you might have to increase the quality. I don't know though. Uh, um, this is. Automatic quality, so it should be on the highest. Like, I mean, um, I can try at 480. I'm streaming and recording this at the same time, so oh, okay, I see, I see. Because I remember when I watched yeah. it back. It... I mean, I can try at seven. I can try this for a little bit. Let's see if if it if it. Oh, okay, maybe I can. I guess uh, 720 is fine, but 1080 I can't do. So you got a sword. Oh, yeah, so, what sort of compositions would you lean towards more if you have a sword? Um, compositions. I still have the, the opportunity to go for Iridian Soul because he can use the Gunblade. Sure. And I can go for uh, like a, a Warlord, so I can give that to Katarina. Or just uh, um, late game, I could just put it on Samira or something. Or Olaf. I can always go like Dragon Soul. Like so, yeah. Okay, why why did you not get the Nidalee here with the Garen? Ah, I didn't even notice that, to be honest. I was just thinking, can I get extra gold to get the 2TS? And then... But yeah. Okay, no, first just... of all, you never want the sword on the Wukong anyway, right? Okay. Yes? Agree? Disagree? Uh, no, I agree. Okay. So if you want the 2TFs, why the hell is the Wukong in the field right now? Good question. I was <laughs> right? thinking about the Vanguard buff. I always try to opt for either Vanguard Roller and then I think about But Vanguard. this is stage one. Oh yeah. Stage one, like you just need like a unit. Sometimes you need two units. That's it. That's all you need stage one. Stage one, you're putting you're putting it you will like you can play two two TFs for example. Because you wanna make sure that you like right? Or you can play you, you play what you wanna keep, essentially. That's that's stage one. Okay. That's why playing the Wukong is bad because you don't want to keep the Wukong. Right? So I should opt for the TFF. So if, like, okay, my advice is get the Nidalee because she's better. Nidalee and Garen. Mm -hmm. That's my advice. But if, if you're inclined to get the two TFs, then like either, either circumstance, you never want to have the Wukong here. That's just griefing okay. yourself. Because if you don't get gold, like, you're not getting the second TF. You didn't play the Nidalee, so it's just, it just griefing you. So always, always think, always think about, yeah. There you go. What would, what would you say is the best item for a Wukong if you were to put them in tank ones or? But we're never playing, like, Wukong, you don't play Wukong. Just, just don't. Okay. <laughs> just don't. I, I tried. It's it just not worth it. It's not so all right then. I mean, tanky if he's two star, sure. 
Okay, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so wouldn't it wouldn't it have been better if you had two two warlords, right? Yeah. I'm really divided here, and I guess to what to do. Well, you should <laughs> so pick I'm up thinking... the gold. You should pick up gold yeah. and pre-level. That's what I would advise you to do. Okay, for better chosen. Yeah. Okay. We should be using our hotkeys, okay? You manage without hotkeys. Okay. You got super lucky. You got bailed out here. What? I, it's... Okay, right here. I don't know how it mm -hmm. cannot be obvious, but it's Warlords Keepers. That's your strongest Warlords board with Hextech on Katarina, no? Warlord Keeper Hextech Katarina. It's like... Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that, like, super obvious? I don't, like... I don't no, know what you're... What you're... Me, I kind of, like, tunneled on the fact that I had two BFs. So I was thinking, okay, this is a... Uh, I'm going to slam the Jack the... The Thade button who... Oh, for fuck's sake, why would you... Oh, God, no. I think I... Okay, sell. why is... Deathblade on Wukong completely useless here. Mm. Mm. Why is it useless? Uh, I, I can tell you. Okay. Because he hasn't got the divine buff. Like the reason, no, no, the reason why it's completely useless is because Wukong is a shitty carry because he's melee, yeah. right? So he gets shit on. Yeah. Like, yeah. How do you like? It's really hard to position him in such like assassins are great. They jump to the back. Range yeah. carries, they're great. They attack from ranged. But like melee carries like this, it's really tough. Like first of all, he should never be in the front row because he has a death blade, right? Yeah. So I mean, this guy has two assassins, so it's fine. But if, was, if you're playing a normal comp, they will focus him down. So the death blade is completely yeah. useless, right? Completely useless. But anyway, like death blade Wukong, not worth it, especially at one star. You could have had a... You could have had Warlords, Keepers, and a Hextech Katarina. And you would just completely dominate the early game. Yeah. And you're, you're still... Oh, yeah, you're keeping the Wukong over the Jarvan. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Rewarded. Nice. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, how do we approach this? Did you have you watched my lullaby series by the way? Mm, on YouTube, no. where I actually tell you what every unit does. No, I haven't. Okay. So you, I guess you're basically going to say something like, uh, "I should prioritize tank items or something for jacks." Of course. Uh, okay, it's okay. it's very simple. Where do you play jacks? At the front line, yeah, so you can dodge. Because you can dodge, right? And stun units, yeah. So what if you put in Callista instead of Timo and put the death blade on her? Ah, uh, yeah. Go for the Jewelist spell. Uh, go buff, yeah. Because then you're using the, the fact that you have a death blade. You're using yeah. the fact that Callista can kill things relatively quickly with the death blade at her ultimate. So that's good use of the items. The death blade on the Jax is like a complete grief. And why is it, like, why is it, uh, like, oh, why is it so, so, so bad? Can you think of why it's, this is just completely terrible? Uh, because it's the Chosen, so if I pick this Chosen, then perhaps I will exactly. get access to a better one. Okay. You, no, 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 like, you, you have, like, you have to sell Jax now. Yeah. Right? Like, Jax is actually a decent Chosen that you can, like, if you get him on 2-2, He's legitimately like good enough to last you the whole game. Like the whole fucking game. If you if you play Duis with Jax or like Divines with Jax, for example. Yeah. Uh, well, Divines don't really have a good carry, but like a Trindomir, for example, can work. Like Trindomir, Callista. Like you can just keep the Jax the whole game. And by putting uh, this item on him, which is an offensive item, Deathblade, you cannot do that. So this is like a huge fuck up on 2-2 and there was a huge fuck up on 2-1 and on 1-2 so uh, yeah every round nice so maybe maybe, <laughs> maybe one round there won't be a fuck up so are we keeping the Teemo 
Why are we... Okay, we're not getting the T-Mobile. No, I think I we're getting the, the yes one, yeah. Should have been close to that. Realistic. I think... Okay, why is that Yasuo bad here? Hmm... Doesn't have any items, or is it just... No. That's so bad. Because we have no backline damage. Exactly! Really you have on. four frontline units. Okay. Has to be balanced, yeah. So what's going to happen? Everyone's going to gather around his Garen. Yeah? I see, yeah. Okay, why why can't you play Jax and Garen together? Jax and Garen. Uh, I guess they occupy the same role. Is it... Yes, they both want to be surrounded. They both want to be surrounded. Okay. Right? Like, so, so like, how do you position this? Obviously, your positioning is completely fucked up. You should backline everything and put Jax in front by himself. Yeah. So that, like, the highest odds are that everything surrounds Jax. He ulties. He dodges everything, and then he stuns them. And then, then your lineup comes and starts hitting them. Fortunately, like here, it worked out that they're all around him anyway, because these guys don't position well either. I mean, I do like the fact that you at least put in some synergies. And we always buy out the shop, right? We always buy out the shop. I think I do. Well, maybe I do. Okay, but like, there's never a reason not to do it. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay, scouting, I guess that's that's like something next. Oh, shit. Um, okay. You spent 20 seconds doing some stupid shit. What if you looked at other people's boards, right? You could yeah. evaluate that maybe if you play Callista and your board, you can win the next round and you'll be at 10 gold. Is that complex yeah. or is that okay? I would have been at 7 plus... But would I have been uh, would I have been able to reach ten? Because if I saw if I had Callista and you saw both Yasuo's, you're at four. nine. Ah uh, yeah okay yeah. And then you get to ten. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, so sure. definitely scout. And yeah, this like we never want to see this. This is complete Position. dog shit positioning because, like, Jax's ability is stun everything around him. And you're griefing your own Jax, essentially. Yeah? Does that... Yeah. you understand that? Like, you want people yeah. to surround the Jax, but you prevent them from surrounding the Jax. He's two-star, by the way. He's not dying. He's going to be the last one to die. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wager that, like, for most of stage two and probably stage three, he's going to be the last one to die. I think I was just focused on the idea that it's Divine Jax, so he's going to do some damage. And I want to maybe give him as many buffs as possible so he can essentially carry my fights. No, buffs buffs are uh, fine. I'm just saying don't put the units next to him. Yeah. So would you say like one row behind or maybe full backline? Full backline. Okay. And ideally you want to have some ranged carries, right? Something that can do ranged mm -hmm. damage. Yeah. So what do we want now? We have a rod. Uh... The second word? What, to go Rapidons or...? I don't know, I'm asking you. Oh, okay. I was thinking armor, but then I saw the already with attack speed and I was thinking, okay, maybe I can um, take this to like a, an AD carry, like a, a Samira or an Olaf game or something like that. Yeah, okay. And... Rage Blade, so... Rage Blade, Death Blade, sounds good. But I don't put the uh, ready in, I don't take up the item off her, I put her in to give them full divine. Okay. So why don't you just level up here? Oh yeah, I could have done that too. Because I'm at seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. And well, you can put in you can put in uh, Fiora or Timo or something. Okay, if you're not like, why would you sell the Garen? Can you give me one reason to sell the Garen? Uh, what was my reasoning for doing that? There is no reason for doing that. There's absolutely no reason to sell the Garen. Hmm. I think it was just a uh, just a reaction, yeah. Like you can keep him and two star him. This is stage two. Stage two, two star units reign. Yeah. 
Yeah, on, on stage two, if you have two star units, they, they win, they win. That's it, like that's all you need. You need two star units on stage two. Like synergies and all that fancy stuff comes into play like stage three and stage four onwards. Or like stage three and onwards, but like not stage two. So if you somehow managed to two star the Garen, you could have put him in. Even though he serves the same function as Jax, I still think two star Garen is, is decent. I don't think you've scouted once, man. Yeah. How are you okay I'm with that? I'm realizing that myself. I'm realizing, oh yeah, I'm realizing that this is a very lazy game by me. I should I even be looking around? I mean, at oh, least, wow. at least, like, at least press one or three eight times, and look at the synergies. That's like the, the bare minimum. Or like, look at the chosen. I want to know what chosens are being played. That's like the bare minimum. I scout through every board and I, I look at chosens. Like, what is super important this round? The most important thing you should do this round? Uh, Pre-level? No. 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 Maybe. I don't know. Mm, this particular round, I have to maintain my win streak. Exactly. So, and how do you do that? Scouting and pre-leveling, perhaps. Or... Yeah, you look at, you look at actually, I don't know, maybe you played one of these three guys already. Right? That you lost? Yeah. You look at the two other guys and you make sure you position well against them. Okay. And there's another Garen, by the way, yeah. So there's the he's come he's come back. Um also here you could possibly play Fiora over Yasuo for for uh Enlightened, no? It's just that Yasuo is two star, so I see. Oh he's already two star, my bad, my bad, my bad. If he's two star then then of course. Um, and what else is there? Uh, or you could just play the puppy over, over Irelia and make the Rage Blade as well. But yeah. But like the most important thing, look at these guys and figure out like who you're playing and if you can beat them or not. Okay, that's a th that's a three star Fiora. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I did this one. so not leveling was the correct play. Not loving was the correct play there. Yeah, that was a bit insane. I've been pretty lucky up until now. Yeah, so what do you want to add now? Um, I think I, I put the Fiora and the Nasus in, I believe. Instead of Janna? Okay, you have every unit as a frontline unit. That is not okay. Like, yes, sometimes I have a composition like this as well, but like, I do my best. Wait, you're not buying the Janna? Janna gives you Enlightened. Ah, uh, yeah. And Janna is actually something that you can put in the back. And you're not buying jacks. Okay, well, I guess you don't want a three star this jacks in particular, but still. You need to buy the Janna. You definitely need to buy the Janna because she's something you can put in the back to buff your units. You have to drill that into my head. I have to have a balance of back line, front line, and. Whatever you can. Me. I mean, whatever you can. Sometimes I have a composition, it's like if it's brawlers, then it's all fucking front line. Too, too bad. Right? Yeah. Okay, what is better, Hextech or Giant Slayer? I would say Giant Slayer because I'm looking for an AD comp, but I don't think I put it on either of them. How can you say Giant Slayer without actually looking at anybody else? Ah, uh, yeah. Is it, would you say what, Giant Slayer would only be okay if they're playing like Brawlers or? Brawlers, reroll comps, Elderwoods reroll. typically, like. Yeah, reroll comps because they have two stars and like they have three stars, right? Ah, okay, yeah, so they have more health, I thought. So if there's like two brawlers, a cultist, and maybe like someone going for a three star Fiora, then it's like, oh, this is actually good against half the lobby. I should probably make it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. If there aren't any brawlers and there's like nobody actually no like 
first of all, on stage three, typically Giant Slayer is not very useful because no one is above the threshold. No, I yeah. mean, yes, your Jax does and the Fiora does, but it's it's more of a fringe case. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Demon's pointing out that Warlords, Warlords are in the under the threshold as well because they get bonus health. Oh yeah, okay. So like here, for example, it would actually help against the the Galio. Mm -hmm. I, lose this one, yeah. uh, I guess you wanted to lose this one, right? Effectively, I mean, I would have wouldn't have mind because I can save some HP, but yeah. I mean, you you, you can you continue your streak right now, so it's not the worst. I'm not sure even with Hextech you win here, so because he has a chosen uh, Vladimir. But the Janna would do so much more than a Fiora. I hope you realize that now. Yeah, definitely. Because Janna can like yeah. heal your comp and also gives gives them more damage, which is really like Janna's super good with duelists. It, oh, we're scouting now. Nice. Why is Janna super super good with duelists? Uh, bonus AD and so that with the attack speed that scales well. Yep, she gives them bonus attack damage and they're attacking like super fast. So great scaling there. Is this? Mm, looks like it's a close one. Like, I mean, you're, you're getting very good losses, which is really good for your economy. Yeah. How the fuck is Brand better than Janna, bro? Please tell me your thought process. Yeah, Why have you seen anyone play Brand with Duelists? It wasn't going through my mind. You know, um, at this stage, I'm kind of channeling on the whole dragon uh, dragon soul uh, buff so i'm thinking to myself you have zero okay, dragon I'm souls running. yeah okay the, the way it works it's super easy super easy most of the time you just want to increase the shit you have over here right so yeah. adding an enlightened like janna even fiora gives you more yeah. stuff if you add Janna, maybe ideally you would add a Shen for, for Mystic Adept. Or you can add a Yumi for, for Mystic at least. Like you just want to get more synergies. You don't I just want to like... Might, and, yeah? I, I see what you mean. But I think I don't leave him in. It's just to see which champions there are. And then I take him back out. But... But you can do it on the bench. You can actually do it on the bench, by the way. Like right click on him on the bench. If you want to... Look at that. Does that show the champions as well? Yeah. yeah. But definitely listen to my Lullaby series, or if, 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 if you're not too lazy, you can read, read about all the champions. If you are lazy, you can listen to my series about all champions and all traits. Okay, well, I didn't even know about that. Right. So then, like, you actually, like, just know all, like, it feels so that. bad. Like, I do it sometimes as well, but it, it feels so bad. Like, you don't have time in-game to learn about shit. Like, yeah. You need to know this shit and you need to like be thinking about like scouting and, and itemization and positioning and not like, oh, what are Dragon Soul units? Like, yeah. So we got another bow. Interesting. Uh, yeah. So you can go RFC. So I'm going to go backline. I'm kind of really tunneling on the Olaf and or Samira and I wanted to kind of make sure they stay backline. So I was looking okay. for the RFC. You know how to make an item? Nice, nice. Oh, okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, bro. It's, it's just my, my reasoning here, even though it's still really bad, was, okay, just put all the damage on him because I know for sure that he's going to be doing the most in the team fight, but it kind of counterproductive because the idea that he wants to be at the front. But, what, like, imagine if you had these items on a Callista. Mm. If you had the jacks. If you had the Jax as you have him right now, right? Mm -hmm. Just a two-star Jax, naked. And you had this shit on the Callista. And you would have four duelists, by the way, with, with this. All right, yeah. That's a good point. Wouldn't that be completely insane? Wouldn't you essentially win streak most of stage three anyway? Like, with that board? Yeah. Four, four divine, four duelist. Or, yeah, like, four duelist, two divine, whatever. But, like... I believe this is where I kind of start tanking. Okay, why why is why is Brand here good? Why am I glad that you put in Brand? 
Because you get some balance, front and back line. Yes, you finally have a ranged unit. Finally a ranged unit. That's great. Because yeah. look at his Nidalee. I mean, you don't have the damage tab open, but I'm pretty sure that Nidalee did most of the damage. Yeah, it will show up in the... So. You, don't, you don't have it open. Oh, yeah. I'll but, like, too. Nidalee did the most damage. I'm pretty sure Nidalee did the most damage because she was hidden in the back. Yeah. So, yeah, everyone everyone in chat is saying you're griefing your, your Jax ultimate because he's not going to ult you anymore. <laughs> yeah. So here it's definitely I, Irelia over Brand, even though it's like kind of redundant. Irelia gives you more synergies and she's just way better than Brand. For sure. Okay, you're just gonna get demolished. Oh, okay, okay. So what needs to happen is after you win a round, you should kind of try to invest some gold to win more rounds. That's essentially how it works. Because you had a lost streak going, then you lost your lost streak, and now you're, now you're just screwed. Okay. Don't over-level. You, you don't need to put so much gold in leveling. Like, I don't know why you put the extra four, four in there. Like, I, like, what does putting the extra four gold in there do and tell me? I don't. I don't think I would be able to do much at level seven, but I can see why you would say there's no reason to do it ahead of time. Because um, my focus is reach eight, and from there, I can have the opportunity to roll down or to have access to better champions. Uh, okay, and you think more. this board can get to eight? Well, I'm hoping it will. But uh, how many rounds would I need? With? 40 go 50 goals so like four rounds even if i'm winning the losing so if i can survive that then i can try to play for a roll down but yeah i mean you're right you, you will get there but really it'll, it'll hurt a lot it will hurt a lot because yeah, your yeah, your board is, com sure is your board is complete garbage and you completely griefed your items on on the jacks <laughs> so actually like yeah. please actually think about like who can use the items well and like what I mean, these are these are set four champions. These are not new champions. Like Jax was in set four, putting like you can't do this shit in set four. So you can't do it in four point five. Okay, we have a. Did you just sell the fucking brand? You had a brand pair. I don't think I did. You didn't. Okay. Well, there's no more brand. Weren't there two brands before? You sold the Vigar. Okay. Why? Uh, okay. Maybe they died, yeah. So, what do I do here? I'm thinking about the options. Uh, Hodge is more flexible, IE is stronger. So, you could probably IE Yasuo if you're going to go over AD comp anyway. Yeah. Because you're probably going to play Deathblade, IE, and Runan, uh, Ra uh, RFC. Everything changed. Yes, everything changed. Okay, fine. I, I did say everything. Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, what? What is the point of doing this? I miss a make on the. It just kind of like overclick. Just, just don't bother. Like, oh, you had to sell the two brands. Okay. So, like, wouldn't it be amazing if you could just sell the the Callista right now and put the items on Olaf? That would have been perfect. Yeah. If I made that one decision. Yeah, it's just like a completely different board. You don't don't itemize your your chosens unless. Yeah, and I no. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's kind of the right play, but it hurts. What? Why the um, fuck would you put a rod on him? Who did I put the rod on? Olaf. I can't see it. You put the rod on Olaf. Oh, um, my reasoning is uh, I wanted to try, what's the item called? The one that you put the um, attack speed with as well. Rage Blade. And, uh, yeah, that one. 
I wanted to try uh, that with, amongst these items. I think probably the best for item. Okay, do you have a Rage Bay right now? No, that's because. Oh, yeah. I guess it's a big gamble, yeah. It's a huge gamble, unnecessary gamble. Hmm. Yeah. Wait, what are the other options? Maybe a locket or. I'm trying no, to think. What the Hodge! Options? Hodge or IE? Hodge, yeah. Hodge or IE? Okay, what do you need here? What do you need here? You uh, need the Slayer. There's a Slayer in your shop. You need to pick up the Slayer. Ah, uh, yeah. Because Olaf is kind of useless without Slayer. Because, like, the whole point of Olaf is he, he never dies. Like, if they don't have burst damage, he doesn't die. I think that's why it takes so much uh, damage to get really low before it starts getting better. Yeah. My yeah. It's like I, I probably would have just leveled at at four two after you sold the jacks and rolled down. Really? Okay. Because this is just so greedy. Like, what what are you gonna achieve? Like, you have two lives right now. You have like two to three lives. Yeah. So if you fuck up your transition, which you might. Which everybody does from time to time, or you play someone who completely high rolled, you're just dead in two rounds. I think that's my choice here. After this uh, carousel, that's in, uh, what I do straight away. No, no, no but, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying if, if you fuck up like once or twice, you're dead. Yeah. So if you did it on four two, yes, you lose gold, but you're you have more HP. Like you have a more of a HP cushion. So this is like you're getting dangerously low. So if you get unlucky for a fight or two, you're just dead. Yeah, and it's really frustrating when you get when you get like a good board and you're like, oh, I got this, and then you just die. It's Olaf here. It's always it's always Olaf here. Spatula? Plus, oh, I could have gotten yeah. But that would have made a mage though. No, that that would have made Dragon Soul, and it would have taken off the really? the rod. Ah. Uh. And alternatively, alternatively, if you hadn't, if you hadn't put the rod on him, you could make him into a into a duelist, which would be completely insane. Don't like oh, the duelist yeah. would make him. But what would I need for that attack speed? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Adept is good. We level up. We should be using we'll our hotkeys, cool, right? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Orn, Orn, put the Orn in. Oh, what do I do here? Yeah, uh, how can you put Zeke on the asshole? No, it's because I'm going to sell him, yeah, but I, I, I screwed up. Okay. There. I was just trying to put an item in quickly because I was... Okay, okay, fine, fine. If you're selling him, then it's fine. So the, the crucial thing you're missing right now is uh, Slayer. And yeah, if I can choose Tomahola, that will probably get me here. So there's an Aatrox. Aatrox is really good. Uh, and okay, you definitely want to buy the ASO over the Brom, because who gets the buff? Brom gets. You don't want Brom to get the buff. That doesn't do anything for you. Is this, is your board strong enough? Are you fucking serious? You think you're okay? I don't know. Like yes, you're playing in platinum, so these guys don't have strong boards, but your board is complete garbage for stage four. This board is not strong enough. If you're playing with, if you're going to be playing against competent people, you're going to get shit on. So you should try to at least two star the, two star the Olaf and put in a Slayer, put in two Slayers. Because your board is way too weak. Yeah, look at that. You almost lost. If this guy, I'm getting so lucky these. If this guy yeah. was not like platinum four, if he was like almost diamond or something, he would shit on you. Because he's sitting on way too much gold as well. Like nobody's actually being aggressive. Yeah. Like the easiest way to get top fours is just to be aggressive and kill off the noobs who are just hesitant. Do, do as much damage as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you're hesitant, then then people can just kill you off. 
Like if you don't know what you're doing for like a few rounds, people just kill you off. Okay, so Yeah. Demon saying, yeah, you just got shit on by number one. If you met number two and number three, you could have died. So that's why it's super risky getting this low. Nice items. So we're gonna be using our hotkeys from now on, right? Okay, yeah. Cause you need like you, you look, buffs. like look how how much, please I'm please, you got the slayer yeah. nice. And set. Mm -hmm. Did okay, that's you're you're doing, yeah, yeah you're doing yeah yeah put it in the shivana, yeah okay so that's that's fine. No, whoa you sold the twin to mirror. So you need Slayers. You, you just need, like, you can't play Olaf without Slayers. And you're getting the, you got him back. You got him, you got two Slayers in your shop. I don't know, what, what the hell is, what the hell is Nasus and Fiora doing there instead of, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> no Slayers. Oh, God. So my logic here is, my front line's not that strong. Uh, so if I can put it in Azir, that gives me two extra... Like units. That's fine, but without Slayer, you, you cannot play Olaf. Okay, I like it's too strong. I'm able to get through this. These fights. Uh, but like, if they have any damage, who would, have, who, who would you have said is the better? Like, so if I put the two Slayers in, who would I have taken out? Uh, okay. Yeah, that's tough. It is tough, but I guess you don't put in the Azir and the set. And you definitely okay. don't play Brom either. You can't play Brom. If you watch Even the... Those three dragons? Oh. No, but like, what does Brom do? Okay. What does Brom do? Tell me what Brom does. He tanks. Exactly. He's yeah, but don't you want the buff on Trindamir, on Olaf? It's a difficult choice to make. Because I'm worried that if I have no front line, he will never be able to like effectively do damage. It'll just they'll just walk straight through the radio or the shen. Okay, sure. somehow you got lucky and he got the buff instead of instead of uh But look how low he is. Instead yeah. of Brom. So you could have put the brand in the front for example. You can just front line brand. Yeah. You mean Siobhan? No, I mean Brand. You frontline yeah. Brand. Instead of Brom. I think I, I think I sold Brand. Yeah, I know. But you, if you put Brand in the front. Yeah. And you, like, if you put him in the front right. And you put, uh, like, you see my cursor as well? Yeah. So where set is, you put Brand. And you put Olaf over here. Yeah. And then you put Shivana somewhere, somewhere on this side. Yeah. Oh, so you're saying that makes sure that I get the dragon sword. So the brand dies and the, the buff goes onto Olaf. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Cause, like the the the, the frustrating thing about about Brom, is Brom never fucking dies, so the buff just gets stuck on him the whole time. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so now we have Samira. So you just need you just need a uh, one more slayer and you can actually easily top four. Who do I take out? I think it's Azir. Well, um, you you take out Brom for Swain for sure. So I do that. Wait, what happened? Did I speed yeah. that up? It just sped up like crazy. <laughs> No Maybe there was some, some problem with the, with the recording. But here you buy the Swain. Swain over Brom. Right? Right? Swain is a legendary unit. He's super, yeah. he's super good. Okay. okay. Do you know, have you heard the concept strongest board? Yeah. 
So you should always, whenever you get a shop, consider if, if the things on the board are better, or like if the things in your shop are better than on the board. So right I now... He's just worried about two star, because he's only one star, maybe he's just gonna die instantly. But he's like, he's really good. So you can buy Swain and Tristana. You put Tristana in over, sh over the Shivina, Shivana, the dragon, yeah. which gives you sharpshooter for, for Samira. No. And it gives you Dragon Soul buff with Swain. And like, so you have Dragon Soul with Swain, Olaf, and Tristana, and you get Sharpshooter for Samira. You drop a useless, you have no Vanguards, right? And you have the Brawl Synergy, but like, set is fine without the Brawl Synergy. Yeah. So you just. Like rolled away a godlike shop. I don't even know. Yeah. Okay, what are you looking for here, please? Um, front line, just to two star my Shen and, if possible, the set. But okay. I shouldn't be rolling, I guess. No, rolling is fine. But I'm just like you had a perfect shop and you didn't take the opportunity. And uh, Zeke should be on the Samira instead of the Shibana, I think. Uh, okay. You actually okay? You, maybe you thought about it. Maybe you didn't think about it. I believe I think I'll be uni for these zillions at some point. Why not? That's fine. Uh, managed to two star him in one or two rounds. Mm -hmm. So you're so lucky with your with your with your Olaf, but like the fact that he has no healing is so dangerous. There we go. Yep, yeah, that's what I wanted. Didn't you just tell me one front line? Uh, yeah. There were two Sejuani's in that shop. But who would I have taken the uh, socket for? For the, uh, maybe for the set? Or... If it's a Sejuani too, yes. Okay. Like, she's, so Johnny 2 is really good. Because she will always ult and she'll stun the whole board. And you're... Again, see, it's so a Johnny 2. There you go. There's an Azir. Okay. Okay. What the fuck are you rolling for? Like, what? why are you rolling? Can you tell me why you're rolling, please? I believe it's just to get that one more Shen, then I feel more stable about uh, my front line. So they can Okay, Shen is completely for... irrelevant. Shen is completely irrelevant. Like, you can just go 9 here. You, you Like, either, like, because there's nothing to roll for here. There's nothing to roll for here. You, you didn't want the Swain. Shen makes no difference. Like, Shen 1 star, 2 star mm. makes absolutely no difference. Okay. And you just waste, you're just wasting gold. Yeah. Like somehow you actually got quite powerful and you could easily go nine here. I think I'll use this fight. Maybe set wakes up and down. Okay. I just I, I probably didn't evaluate the strength of my board well enough to realize. I could but okay. If I, like, can you upgrade anything on your board? There's nothing to upgrade. Yeah, sir. You want to upgrade Set? You want to upgrade Samira? You want to upgrade Z like Zillion or Azir, correct? Yeah, I need to be 9 to have the best chance. You I'm should saying. be 9 for that. Then you can put in one more unit. You can finally put in another Slayer at, on yeah. 9. Yeah. And, like, it's very simple. Don't fucking roll unless you're losing. You still have two to three lives. Yeah. So if you lost a round, you have to roll down. If you're not losing rounds, then you just chill. Because like you just you wasted a lot of gold on stage five for no reason. Right after what happened after carousel, right after carousel. Yeah. I must have kept winning. So after carousel, you had fifty gold. Right. 
Yeah. So you mm -hmm. wasted at least like 20, 30 gold? You wasted like 30 gold on that stage for nothing. Your board is exactly the same as after carousel. Exactly the same. And now you're putting gold into levels, okay? So imagine if you had 30 more gold for XP. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. So it's like, yes, you can roll if there's something to freaking roll for. There's nothing to roll for anyway. There was nothing to roll for, so you shouldn't have been rolling. By the way, I think the Hodge on Samir would be really good if you just put in Trindamir. If you just fucking put in a Slayer and uh, take out the set. You can put the Hodge on Samira, so she'll actually do more damage. You have you have Slayers. It's really, really good. I mean, yes, Slayers. Slayer. Yeah. What does it do again? It is it, it's to do with executing the... Or am I mixing that up with something else? Uh, well, they do more damage the lower the, the unit they're attacking. Okay. So, perfect example. Here you bitch slapped the Katarina, no problem. So the lower the lower HP the unit you're attacking has, the more damage the Slayer does. Okay. And on the flip side, the lower HP the Slayer has, the more healing he gets. Ah. So here, he would start bitch slapping the Katarina doing more damage because she's dropping oh, low. Cancer. And he would start healing more because he's going down. So the cat dead and then... And it's like, he just gets shit on. Yeah, he just gets shit on. Mm. So now you're down to one life. So if you had the extra 30 gold, it would be really good because you could level up. <laughs> I believe I got nine here. Yeah. I believe I did. But imagine if you had 30 extra gold, you could have yeah. sold the Irelia and uh, you could have sold the Irelia and actually rolled for a new chosen. For sure. And we're getting a joke. Wait, what? Slayer. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, you got, you got a new song you should listen to. Mm. I do like the fact that you're looking for more frontline. I, I, I like the fact. I like that. Do I roll? I do. Just pick up the Swain. Pick up the Orn. What are you rolling for? Yeah. What are you rolling for? Good question. I think maybe two star Samira or uh, Zillion. But what if you get what if you get two star Orn? What if you get two star Swain? Mm. Like buy them and then you can sell them. Just buy, buy, keep rolling, and then you sell them if you don't like. I don't think at any point I threw a lot of the Slayer buff, so it never... But I mean, that's why you're getting shit on. Yeah. Oh, look at that, two Yones. Do I buy them? Tell me I do. Or not. I'm just surprised you're doing this well without the Slayer buff. Because I, I think with Slayer buff you win the lobby. Okay, you're not buying two Yones in the shop. Dude, there's two units in the shop. I could have put them in instead of set if I, but yeah. Okay, now you're scouting, but you should still be rolling. Just roll, roll. So Ryan, I'm just thinking, okay, where do I position Olaf so he doesn't die because he's the carry? And I know that the Katarina is the main problem. So I tried to put something else in front. Okay. To, uh, act as like a dummy. Uh, so why not move him somewhere? Last second? Move him to the right or something, yeah. You can I just guess move. I didn't have enough time. You didn't have enough time to move him. You had 30 seconds. You just grab him and move him. No, I mean, when I realized at the end, yeah. I okay. Because I want to also keep him next to the Zillion for the uh, Zeke's buff. It's, it's, good. it's a good buff, but I think it's. Like, keeping him safe is more important. Or you can just switch him, you can switch him with Samira, for example. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. 
So we're getting a Zeke's here. What are we getting? I imagine. Yeah. Yep. I'm pretty sure I picked up the Zeke's. Was there a Samira item? There was no. There was nothing really. Yeah, but the Brom like this. The Brom instead of the Swain really hurt. The Swain is Swain is so good. Yeah, I can see that nine roof respect. He also has the um, burn. You don't have a Morellos or a Sunfire Cape, so he actually does that for you. Okay. Now you get him. I'm pretty sure you could have two starred him because you you saw enough of him in the shop. Yeah. Well, I just saw him there. <laughs> so why did you want Samira, by the way? Why did I play her? Yeah. As an alternative carry, because I was worried that Lafin may not be able to. Provide you enough damage, or he might get one shot or something like that. So I was thinking she can just uh, she can be like an option. But I never end up too sorry for. Oh, uh, demon feels bad, or like demon is empathizing with you because you can't defend your decisions properly. Yeah. So this is like yes, I like the decision to put in Samira. The reason you put in Samira is for three Slayer. You put her in with Pike, for example, and you have three Slayer. Yeah. That is the reason you put her in. Like, her specifically, because she's a Slayer, Olaf is a Slayer. So, I do like the fact that you have two carries. Good job. But, like, you're not maximizing the most important trait. I'd say, I'd say uh, Slayer is more important than Dragon Soul for Olaf. Okay. Well, okay, especially if you don't, if you can't guarantee it on him, right? Because, like, you don't guarantee Dragon Soul. Look at it. It's, it's, it's already on, on Braum, which is useless. Right? So, yeah. you can guarantee Slayer on him, because he's a Slayer. You can't guarantee Dragon Soul yeah. on him, because it goes to the Brom half of the time, or like most of the time. So yeah, you're saying two carries, one carry got lifted, other carry's gonna get shit on by Katarina. I think this is a fight where I die too, I didn't scout for the Zephyr. <laughs> yeah, Slayer would've made a difference here. Yeah. I mean, Slayer means he heals back up. It's really close though, mm, from what I remember. Frustratingly close, yeah. I don't know how she kills me. Her dash. No. She does her little, yeah, she did her dash thing. Yeah, that's really frustrating. Yeah. But yeah, if, if you were playing, if you were playing it like diamond level, you'd definitely win here. Yeah, and Demon's reminding me, yeah, if you're if you have a carry, yeah, that's that's the whole point. If you, like you're playing around your carry, right? You kind of you kind of understand yeah. that. So it's like you need to maximize your carry. That's all you have to do, maximize your carry. So if this Azir had been a slayer instead, then you activate okay. all the traits for for your Brolov. Yeah. I think so, I just didn't pay attention to that. Yeah. I was kind of like so calm, but yeah. I mean, really yes, it's the new, like the new set, I kept confusing, like this set, I kept confusing Slayer and Executioner. I couldn't tell them apart. So, that's fine. Like, yeah, I, if, if you're new, it's fine, but like, you need to know these things now, if you're going to start playing ranked, you need to know. And you said that video, the, uh, the one that tells you about all the traits or all the uh, champions' roles, that, that's a video on your channel? Yeah, that's a video on my YouTube channel. It's the, the name of it? I just wrote it like Papa Paf's lullaby, something like that. Okay, and yeah. I, I read, I read every single, every, <laughs> every single unit. It's it's a playlist. It's a playlist, and it's called Papa Paf's lullabies. Yeah, I read every champion and every trait. I'm gonna start reading items as well. Once I get my voice back, and once I get back to, once I get my top ten challenger spot, I'll start reading more for you guys. So it's just like, okay. oh, yeah, so like, so Olaf gets Mystic, that's good. Olaf gets Adept, I guess, that's kind of good for him as well. Olaf gets uh, Dragon Soul, that's good. He doesn't have Slayer. So if he had Slayer as well, you'd probably win this. Or you could, you could do better. Yeah? At least talk to the, yeah, probably have won that fight at least, and then... You could have yeah, won this fight, and that means you're second, yeah. Yeah. 
little things can make a big difference. So it's it's like, I do like the fact that you're playing around your carry, that you make sure that like, but um, who the hell was your carry for like half of the game? Jax. Yeah. The first part. But he's not your carry, he's your tank. Yeah. So first half of the game, you have a tank and you don't have a carry. And you're kind of like itemizing the tank as a carry, which, which doesn't work. So if, and, and the, the cool thing is like, if you, I mean, obviously you're not keeping, you're not keeping Jax in your late game comp, right? But if you had an itemized Jax, if you had itemized uh, someone else, you can, you can sell them much more easier, easily. So that's, that's like a niche thing. Like you want to be able to sell your item holders and get stronger without selling your chosen until you want, until you do a roll down. So until you want to do a roll down, you don't have to sell your chosen. Because you sold your chosen here on 4 2, right? And it just didn't feel good. Mm, I mean, you, you couldn't. You, you couldn't know, but I mean, not, not just the HP part, but you couldn't have felt good like not having chosen here. Right? Because right. like, you're like, okay, well, I have the Olaf. Oh, By the way, here, you, you still keep the jacks, actually. I would still keep the jacks here over the Olaf. Okay. Because like now, like. Whenever you sell your chosen, you need to level up and roll down. So, yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Yeah, so any, any other questions? Um, no, I pretty much have to go back and read and make sure I know everything before I get into another game. To make like, sure that it's yeah. more decision-making as opposed to knowledge. Yeah, no, like knowledge. Knowledge is all out there. It's on my channel. It's on Low Chess. It's on like a lot of the, the um, Reddit posts. Like the knowledge is all there. So get all the knowledge, and then in game just execute. Right. Just and ideally, what what stage did you say was best to roll down and look for a new chosen? Would you say it's like four seven, or? Uh... <laughs> it's when you're when you can't use your chosen anymore. That, that is the correct answer. Okay. So if you have a chosen Yasuo, you can win the game. No points having your chosen. Right? If okay. you have a chosen Jax, you could possibly go Divine with, uh, with um, Kale and win the game. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's like you sell your chosen when he's no longer providing you the utility you need. So some Chosens are strong, some, some are weak. So the weak ones you sell earlier. But the most important thing is when you sell your Chosen, you need to roll for another Chosen. So it's like, yeah. you should either be rolling for a Chosen ideally on, on like early game, like uh, level three, level four, right? You're looking for a Chosen. And then if it was complete garbage, then you're looking for a new Chosen on like level five, level six. And then on level eight, you're looking for another chosen. Cause like here you're already desperate. I can tell you're desperate, and you made the desperate play. It's the correct play, but it's a desperate play. Which is the Irelia. Like Adept Irelia is, is the best three cost chosen. Right? You're really lucky in the picture, yeah. But you're already level eight. So here it's like maybe you skip mm. this Irelia. And you roll for for a forecast chosen, so right? You think I should just level there. I mean, it's it's a it's a gamble. It is a gamble. Like Irelia is the best three cost chosen, and there are a lot of shitty four cost chosen. Hmm. But it's like if you get a Vanguard, you can play a Vanguard chosen. If you get if you get obviously Twindemir or Olaf, you're chilling. If you get one of those guys chosen, so it's like it is a gamble. Like, I'm not saying that this play is, is, is completely wrong. I'm just saying, like, you pick up a three-cost chosen when you're going to level the eight. It doesn't feel good, right? Because now you could be getting four-cost chosen instead. Mostly because of uh, how desperate I am. Because I yeah. have so much HP already. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you, you made the right play, but, like, you shouldn't have been in this desperate position. That's what I mean. Like, in your desperate yeah. position, you made a reasonable play. But had you, had you either rolled down on 4-2 or like preserved more HP, did the little things, then you could be at like 50 HP and you could just like, 
greet it out. You could level up, you could roll down. If you don't find a chosen, then you roll down again on 5-1. Mm. But obviously you couldn't do that because you're you so weak. So like, yes, you ended up third. Good job on third. But you like... Uh, or, or alternatively, alternatively, uh, if, you're, if you're kind of healthy and kind of okay-ish, you just put in the Irelia and you leave your board like, like as it is and then you sell the Irelia on, uh, on the PvE round and then you roll down again for a better chosen. That's also an option. Like at, at, or like at some point when you have more gold and then like, because you didn't even sell the Irelia when you got to 9. Right? And like having a chosen Irelia on level 9 is not it. So like there's so, yeah. Which five star unit would you say is the best to pick out? I mean, if you had an opportunity, would you say in terms of ranking? Uh, so if there's chosen, least in somewhere around or would uh, it really depend on your composition? It kind of depends on your composition, but like obviously Slayer Samira would be perfect here. Um, Samira is actually really powerful. Then Swain is really good. Yone is, is kind of decent again. He was bad until the B patch. Now he's, he's playable again. Uh, Set is amazing. So Zillion can work. Azir can work. It just... Because uh, like Zillion and Azir, they get reduced mana, so they cast more. Okay. So it's just like any of those are like really good. If you and get... The better, it, items, yeah. uh, the better items on Yone. Because I'm never sure do I put AP on him or tank or... Uh, kind of what you have. I mean, tank items are actually really good on Swain. Swain is a really, really good tank. Okay. If you have him and uh, Morgana, he is really hard to kill, especially a two-star. If he has tank items, because he heals so much from his ability. So he's like he's like the new Riven. Why, why does Morgana uh, work well with him? Because together they get Siphoner. Oh, uh, alright. So like with, with Siphoner... With Siphoner, he heals from his, his damage. 40%, I believe, at 2 Siphoner. Becomes okay, yeah. So he's kind of like, he's kind of a mix between uh, Blue, Kane, and Riven. So that, that's why I like him. Mm -hmm. He's two units at one. Like, the, 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 the healing on Blue, Kane, and the tankiness of Riven, that, that's him. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just mostly... Uh... Early game mistakes. Yeah. Which kind of put me in this position where I'm forced to. I can't really make many choices. But I mean, your late game decision making was was a lot better than early game. So like your late game sort of made up for your early game, but if you had a really good early game and good late game, then this is an easy first. Yeah, I can see that now. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that. So thank you for stopping by, Hannibal. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for the analysis. This is very helpful. You're, you're definitely welcome. To do. Uh, and I'm going to check out the video. And yeah, this is going on YouTube. You know go. And if any of you are interested in free coaching, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch. And uh, I draw winners for coaching bi-weekly. So tune in for that. Path of Gaming signing out. Peace.